Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Gudlani, and today on Raise the Line, I'm privileged to be joined by Vaughn Tonquinlevan, who's currently the CEO of Futuro Health, a nonprofit established to address the nation's allied health workforce shortage starting in California. She also previously served as Executive Vice Chancellor for the California Community Colleges, which are the nation's largest system of higher education. So Vaughn, thanks so much for being with us today. So do you mind going a bit into how was Futuro formed, and then how did you come to lead the organization? Uh, absolutely. You know, so my career uh, has spanned uh, the private sector, the public sector, and now the nonprofit sector. Uh, I, I uh, at one time headed up workforce development for a company of 20,000 men and women uh, in the energy sector, uh, where we were able to take the company from having no opinion in workforce development into a nationally recognized industry best practice. And then I was appointed by the governor of California, back then was Governor Brown, to serve as vice chancellor and executive vice chancellor of the California Community Colleges. And then that work led me to uh, have this opportunity here where I can focus specifically on the healthcare um, uh, industry. You know, say you were beginning to look into upskilling or reskilling yourself or you're a student, what advice would you would you want to be told at this point uh, when so much seems to be in flux? So if, if, I, if you went through a series of pro- provocative questions like, um, you know, if everything wrote and repetitious in your profession is going to become automated and can be done by machines, then what kind of work will value the human touch, right? So what kind of work would value the human touch? I mean, if you spend some time thinking about it, you would be able to think, okay, well, let's build, let's move more in that direction and less in some other directions. So I think if you start thinking through some of these provocations about the 10 year future, then you can determine, you begin to think, okay, am I moving my skill set in, in a direction that is more consistent with that 10 year future or am I, uh, moving my skill set, or are or, or my skill sets going to stagnate uh, with with the current? So those are some exercises that I think we can all go through just to reflect on our, um, you know, our, how how do we stay ahead and how do we keep current? Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series. Please go to osmosis.org/raisedlinepodcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.